now we're going to look at T-score, another standardized score, and really the most common one that you see in the literature, and many of the creators of tests calibrate their tests to the T-score. So if you're looking at a, uh, a test manual, a lot of times the score is already calibrated towards the T-score, and we'll just see how to calculate that. Um, what we do here, the nice property of T, which makes it even easier than the Z-score, is that we don't have any of the negative numbers. Um, and the mean is always going to be 50, one standard deviation above the mean 60, 70, 80. So the standard deviation is 10. Uh, so then therefore if the mean is 50, then it's 40 for one standard deviation below, and then 30 and 20. To calculate T-score, we take 10 times the Z-score plus 50. And probably be good if I had the, all the Z-scores listed, but uh, I've already worked out one. So let's again look at student one, and uh, we'll say 10 times their Z-score, which was a uh, negative 1.30 plus 50, gives a T-score for the grit equals uh, 37. Okay. So then if we were to do the same thing for uh, student one on conscientiousness, we're going to say 10 minus the z-score for the let's say it was negative 0.27 plus 50. So the t for conscientiousness came up to 47.3. Okay, and so now when we graph these, I'll use a little brighter color, when we graph these, we're coming to 30, somewhere here again, and uh, 47 again. Student number one, we can see this, and what we do know is with the T-scores, again, slightly below the mean. It's just a little bit easier to work with the T-scores because of uh, no negative numbers. Thank you.